Hi, my name is George Cao, and I have been teaching marketing for 10 years. And I'll tell you that the number one easiest way to grow an audience and therefore to grow your business is through Facebook ads. And I have taught different types of social media. I've taught email marketing, I've taught webinars, and still 10 years later, the number one easiest way to grow an audience from zero or to grow an existing business in terms of visibility is through Facebook advertising. So I wanna take some time to tell you about my upcoming Facebook marketing course, which has a special focus on Facebook ads. So just to give you a bit of an update, some people might say, well, is Facebook still relevant? And people ask that question because human beings just get you know, tired of whatever has been around for a while. And I'll tell you, Facebook has been growing year upon year ever since it was started uh, more than 10 years ago. And as of the latest statistics that we have, which I'm recording this in March, but the latest official stats from Facebook are in December of 2018, so just a few months ago. Um, Facebook, as of three months ago, has 1.5 billion daily active users. What that means is more than one and a half billion people on planet Earth log in to Facebook every single day. Now, if you look at the monthly active users, people who log in at least once a month, it might just be that they log in once every three days, that they don't count as a daily, but they count as part of the monthly, it's 2.3 billion people. So just to put that into perspective, one million people is a lot of people, right? I mean, if you, if you just even think about how many clients can you actually serve in your lifetime, or even just, let's say you wanna learn Facebook marketing and Facebook ads, and you say, I would love to get 10 more clients with Facebook ads, 10 more clients. Fine, you wanna be ambitious, you wanna get 100 more clients with Facebook ads, great. Now, even just think of a million people who use Facebook, out of the million, any random million people who use Facebook, there are probably 10 people who are at least somewhat attuned to being your ideal client, okay? That's a million people. Now multiply that by 1,500. That's 1,500 times a million people is how many daily active users there are on Facebook. Now, that's worldwide. If you just wanna reach the United States, for example, right? A lot of you watching this would like to reach the American audience. This is the largest English-speaking uh, market online, there are 230 million people that you can reach directly through Facebook ads that are, that, are, that are living in the United States, 230 million. Now, in Canada, I think there's another uh, 30 million. I think in the UK, there's another 40 million. These are all people you can reach through Facebook ads. So that's why I think it's so helpful for anybody who wants to grow their message, grow their audience, grow their business, to learn how to use Facebook ads. There is no other cheaper way to get your message out in front of more people than through Facebook ads. It's way cheaper than, than Google ads. It's cheaper than Instagram ads. It's cheaper than YouTube ads, okay? Facebook ads is still the, the, the cheapest and it has the greatest variety of people that you can reach. Whether you wanna reach people with a specific profession, someone who is a, you know, a real estate broker or somebody who is a corporate executive or somebody who, who has a particular interest, they're interested in mindfulness or they're interested in travel, whatever it is they're interested in, what their profession is, what their age is, obviously gender, uh, where they live, okay, and uh, what their specific behaviors are, if they're single or married or divorced or they have, they have kids, all of those you can specifically target in Facebook ads and you can combine these things to make it the perfect kind of audience that you want to reach. I have been doing Facebook ads now for I think five years, if I remember correctly, but I have spent so much money on Facebook ads that I can, uh, and I'm, as I've looked back on the money I've spent, just let's say over the past year on Facebook ads, my return on investment on all of my ads combined has been more than two times. It's actually up to four times return on investment if you, uh, if you only count certain campaigns that are specifically focused on selling something. But if I count the campaigns that are just getting the message out, I mean, a lot of you who are seeing this on Facebook right now, you found me through a Facebook ad, but maybe you didn't even think of it as an advertisement because 
it was a message that I was reaching you with. It wasn't trying to sell you anything when you first discovered me, right? Maybe it was a, a written post that was a couple hundred words long that was teaching you something about something that I know. Or it was a video that you saw uh, that where I was teaching you something or trying to inspire you and uplift you on, on, on one of the topics that I'm, that I'm expert in. So the way I first reach people, which same thing with a lot of my clients, this is how they first reach new people who are meant, you know, who are right for them, is by sharing a message that is educational and uplifting and inspiring or however it is that's authentic to you being of service to your potential clients and customers. And that's really the first step of running Facebook ads. It's just being of service. I see Facebook ads as part of my ministry, you might say, part of my cause, part of the way that I serve people who don't know who I am. You know, some people call that a cold audience or a cool audience. People who don't yet know who I am, they're first touched through one of my educational or inspiring messages and then i will continue to help them touch them inspire them as they once they get to know me uh and see one of my posts i will continue to share and that's facebook ads makes it so easy to reach people who have engaged with one of your posts in the past you so you, you kind of start with reaching people who are new to you that you target very specifically with various things and we're not even talking about lookalike audiences yet, which my course will teach you how to do. Uh, lookalike audiences, by the way, is Facebook's amazing algorithmic tool to show to to match with match for you exactly the kinds of people who are most like your customers and clients. It's called a lookalike audience. I'll teach that in the course. But let's say you don't have a current audience, you just want to build from scratch. This course is also for you. Okay, so this course I'm going to teach you. It's going to be helpful if you're just starting from nothing uh, because now I have also spent uh, eight months building a brand new audience on a side business, people who don't know who I am. Uh, so I have that experience, plus I have the experience of building um, an, an existing audience into something even greater. So whether you are beginner or advanced, you can take this course and benefit from it. Um, so I was, I was saying, just to complete the, the thought of sort of the overall strategy, you first reach people who don't know who you are but are likely to, to enjoy your message and are likely to be the right fit for your business. You first reach them just with content, not with trying to sell something. And this is a mistake that I see so many other Facebook ads experts teach. They just try to get people to sign up for their email list. That's the first thing a cold audience sees. I don't think that's the best idea. I don't think that's the best way to build a brand and to build a presence in somebody's life, to first ask them for something. No. You first bless them. You first serve them with content that you believe is going to be helpful for them. And if they find it helpful, they'll like the content or they'll comment on it or they'll share it. And then it'll be easy for you. The next step is to reach them again with additional content that uh, in Facebook you can define a custom, what's called a custom audience, which is the people who have already engaged with my stuff. You just continually bless them with with any something that is of service to them it's a piece of a content a, a message an inspirational video an image that's inspirational whatever it is and then occasionally whether that's once a month for you or once every two weeks even you then run an ad to your warm audience the people who have already engaged with you you run an ad to them to invite them to to work with you in some way whether it's to connect with you one-to-one -to, -one, to explore working with your services or to uh, invite them to uh, a product that you have, a course that you have, or a book that you have, or whatever it may be, or to join your email newsletter. That's a fine as an invitation as well. But that's something you do occasionally, once every two weeks or once a month or whatever it may be. Okay, so that the, this overall strategy has worked so well for me that I teach this to all of my clients. I encourage everybody who's starting a business to do this. Uh, I think it's the best um, investment of your business building dollars that you can, not in anything else. Some people are buying $1,000, $2,000 business training programs. I said, why are you doing that? You could have spent that same money on Facebook ads and grown your business a lot faster. So if you took just one class this year on marketing, I recommend that it be a class about Facebook ads. Because if you get that right, 
you can reach as many people as you want that are the right people for you. Okay. And some people say, well, George, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I need to take some more business training or business uh, consulting to get my message right. The message has got to be so dialed in and clear so that people will want to work with me. Let me tell you this secret that I've learned over 10 years. Your message can't be dialed in with a business consultant or a marketing expert. Your message is dialed in with continuous interaction with your audience. Your audience are the people who help you dial in your message, not a marketing expert, not me, not anybody else, and not just by you journaling on your own or asking your friends who are all going to be very supportive of you, and yes, friends should be, but they are not your overall audience, okay? The way you dial in a message is through content, okay? And how do you get your content out there? It's through distribution of your content, which Facebook ads, like I said, is the easiest and cheapest way to distribute your content. So the way you hone your message is by trying different ways of saying your message, different stories, different ways of framing things, teaching different parts of your message through either written content or video content or you know, using an image, or, but typically it's written or video content. And then you got to distribute that content to people who are likely going to be your ideal audience and see what their reactions are. And based on their reactions and engagement, oh, you notice that this piece of content got a lot more engagement than this piece of content? Well, that's a clue to what your message ought to be, okay? So that's how you hone, even the way you hone your message is by distributing content so that you can observe the, the statistics, the data, the market will tell you what they really like and how they like you to frame your message. Let the market tell you. Let your audience tell you rather than going to spend money on a marketing expert to tell you because a marketing expert and you, you're just two, two people. Okay. Your audience is hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. Their da that data is much better than just two smart people trying to figure out the message. No, because ultimately it's your audience who are going to buy from you, not the marketing expert. So a lot of us are getting the wrong advice. We're not using our audience for, for, for gathering the data rather than. So anyway, um, let me tell you a bit about the course. I've, I've hopefully made a, a, a decent case for why you really should consider spending money on Facebook ads on a regular basis. Now you might actually, some of you might be asking, well, how much should I be spending on Facebook ads? Now, some Facebook experts will say, no, you should be, you should be spending at minimum $300 a month, if not $1,000 a month on Facebook ads. That's not the way I teach it. I think a lot of Facebook ads courses are, are meant for larger businesses that can easily spend a thousand to ten thousand per month or even more a hundred thousand per month on facebook ads well you and i we are solopreneurs those most of you watching this are solopreneurs you are you, you just have you you might have an assistant you might have a small team i don't even have an assistant i that's a whole different story why i i've automated a lot of things in my business uh, i use some freelancers but i'm a solopreneur like most of you are. My recommendation is if you're, if you're new to Facebook ads, budget about $30 a month. That's not too much. That's not the thousand a month that a lot of Facebook ads experts recommend. Just budget $30 a month for now, a dollar a day. And just by $30 a month, you will probably be able to reach between one to 3,000 new people, okay, every single month. Okay, so reaching one to 3,000 new people every month, okay, with one impression, one piece of content, they're not going to become clients right away, but now they have an, an impression of you, okay? The first impression, second, third, it takes several impressions before people get to be familiar with you, but start with $30 a month. If you are able to spend $100 a month, then go ahead and do that. That'll move things along even faster, but $30 a month is more then most business owners are spending on Facebook ads. So you'll already be getting your message out there better and more, more uh, consistently than most businesses. So let me tell you a bit about my, uh, my Facebook ads course. I've got a few notes here that I'm going to refer to. So one of the um, pieces of the course that I'm so proud of to be able to show you is that I've done my own research, painstaking research into how to reach higher income audiences on Facebook. It's one thing to advertise to a lot of people who might be interested in mindfulness or who in, you know, 
who, who, who are parents or who are single or divorced or married or whatever, whatever you want to find. But you'll find that a lot of the people you reach on Facebook ads might not have the money to afford your services. Okay. So I have done the painstaking research to discover how to reach higher income audiences on Facebook, people who have, are likely to have the money to spend on you know, $100 uh, an hour, two, $300 an hour on your services, coaching, consulting, uh, freelance, whatever it is you do or whatever product you offer, uh, it's, they, they have the money to spend. So that's one of the, I think, the best parts of my course that I think is worth the price of admission alone how to reach higher income audiences on Facebook. Um, another part of my course I'm proud of is I'm gonna give you a streamlined plan to go from having nothing in terms of audience uh, on, on anywhere, okay? You have no audience, you're starting a brand new business, nobody, knows, nobody in the world knows who you are, to go from that to having an audience of thousands on Facebook. And of course, well, I'll show you how to use Facebook lead ads to build an email list if that's what you wish to do. Okay, so we'll go over that as well. How to start from zero. Now, some of you are starting from something. Maybe you already have a couple hundred Facebook fans. Well, I'll show you how to grow. Not Facebook fans. That's another mistake that a lot of Facebook um, users make when they're trying to grow their, their Facebook presence. That they, they, buy, they buy likes for their page, which is a, is a terrible idea because you'll end up with a fan page with thousands or tens of thousands of fans who don't care at all about your content or about your services. What we're trying to find is true fans, people who are ideal clients for you. So that's what I teach you to do in my course, not to get fans or to get likes or to get those vanity metrics that don't build your business. I'm trying to build your business here, build your income. So that's what the course is, is, is really uh, excels at compared to other courses. There's gonna be a Q&A portion to every session of the course. The course is gonna have six sessions. It's going to be a two-month course, um, three sessions per month. We'll have six sessions. Each session includes some teaching, some uh, I'm going to show you on the screen what to do, and then we'll have Q&A. So in between each session, you'll be encouraged to implement what you learned in that session so that you can bring your questions and your insights and your results you know, even to the next session and to share what you learned uh, or what your questions are and what you need next. And then I'll teach you more. And then by the end of the six sessions, you will have a streamlined plan that you know how to use and know how to do that you've actually done to build your audience for your business. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. All the sessions are, of course, recorded. So if you can't attend, if the timing of the session isn't great for you, don't worry, because I send out the recording actually on the same day. Um, if not, then at least the, the very next day, but I usually send it out on the same day that the, the class is taught. So you'll be able to catch it very quickly, take action, and then bring your questions and, and results down uh, to the next session. Um, when you get the course, you also get three months of, uh, uh, I do a monthly group Q&A call. Uh, it's one hour. Um, two different times each month. It's basically uh, for different time zones and you can pick one of them or, or come to both if you can. So you get three months of group Q&A when you, when you get the course as well. So uh, I, I think this video has probably gone long enough. I want you to invite you just to go and look at the details of the course by clicking on the link that's somewhere in the description of this video. Ask me any questions below the video. There is, of course, a 100% money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. Most of you watching this have already worked with me in some way. You bought one of my courses or you have seen my videos over the months or the years. So you probably uh, trust that I deliver quality um, products and, and services. But if you don't know who I am and you're just trying me out for the first time, it's a 100% money back guarantee. You can look at the comments below this video to see genuine uh my my audience members who uh who can vouch for me and those of you who are my audience members who, who who do say well george is not just like any other you know marketer out there you i would appreciate if you say something below this video um but yeah those of you who are new you get 100 well everyone gets 100 percent money back guarantee for the first it says on the page it's actually the first 30 days but really because i take the money through paypal i have 60 days to refund you so i give myself a bit of a buffer but it's 30 it's at least 30 days you get to try every try the course that you get for 30 days 
And then if you're not happy with it, just let me know and I'll refund you. I'm very good about that. But just to let you know, my refund requests are almost 0%. Uh, over the past year, um, you know, hundreds of people have bought my courses and I think I've got maybe three or four refund requests. And it's usually because, oh, I just realized, George, I bought the course without reading it carefully. It's really not the right fit. Can I get one of your other courses instead? So anyway, just to let you know, there is no risk. Uh, if you if you get the course, try it out, see if it's really the right fit for you. And uh, anyway, I think that's all for now. Check it out. The link is georgecal.com slash FB. That's a shorthand to get there. georgecal.com slash FB, as in Facebook. And I look forward to your participation in the course and how it really benefits your business, how it really grows your audience and your ability to uh, pursue doing what you love and being able to make an income from that. So I look forward to your stories, your results, and your questions. And until the next video, I wish you well. And I hope to see you in the course.